my gosh, I feel like I'm wearing a pull tarp. Like I literally feel like I threw a pull tarp over my head and I was like, let's film a video in a pull tarp um, and tell everybody hi. Let's address the elephant in the room. And by elephant, I mean the size of the spirit jersey that I'm wearing. Um, no one in the Disney community told me that like I should order a size smaller or maybe I should have knew that. I don't know, but this is a large and clearly I need a medium. And then when I ordered it, I didn't realize that like it had glitter. And then of course it says Disneyland in the back and then that's covered in glitter. Oh my gosh, my face is like so oily. Just in the time I've been sitting here. Like, what the heck? Let me just dry my whole face off on this towel. This massive freaking beach towel that I call a shirt currently. Is that better? Great, now I'm all red. I just look like I went to a freaking tanning bed in the middle of me filming a video. Hello everyone. Uh, for those of you that are new here, my name is Nicholas. This is a Disney Mertz channel. And as always, you're more than welcome to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is also Disney Mertz. My friend Vanessa over at Disney Nessie, and yes, I am a Nessie cake. Nessie cake is what she calls her subscribers. Uh, she decided to send me magic mail. This magic mail is basically, she said, an early Hanukkah gift. So for that, shalom, and I appreciate her. This segment is called a little background into the history of why Nicholas is a proud Jew. Okay. It all started with Herbert Goldstein, my grandfather. My grandfather, um, he actually passed away from bone cancer, RIP. Uh, he's also one of two reasons why I'm heavily involved in Relay for Life, benefiting the American Cancer Society, and always have been. The other reason being that my father currently has cancer. And yeah, so moving on from that. Back to the story. Grandfather Herbert Goldstein had multiple brothers. All the brothers were put up for adoption when they were children. Back in those days, if you were a Jewish kid and you were put up for adoption, you were adopted by a Jewish family. Fine. All the brothers were separated, but they were all adopted by Jewish families because they were Jewish children. Normal. My grandfather, however, a little different, he was actually adopted by a German family. So growing up, all his brothers you know, we're growing up celebrating Passover, Hanukkah, all that good stuff. Whereas my grandfather grew up celebrating Christmas and stuff like that. Cool. So anyways, they all end up coincidentally being in the Navy and they all actually kind of reconnected like on a ship. They all got close again. All the families came together. Great. So growing up, it was almost like you have like a mixture of all the different, you know, holidays and stuff. My fondest memory is my grandfather, Mr. Herbert Goldstein, uh, and I know it's like the most cliche Jewish name ever. Um, I used to love the most. My grandfather pretty much ran a pawn shop in downtown St. Louis, so pawn shop downtown St. Louis, it wasn't the safest, but it also thrived um, business-wise. So I used to love waking up because my grandfather would make this like breakfast egg meat kind of concoction. And then he would get up and go to a local like bakery of sorts and he'd always get poppy seed bagel only. And it had to be steaming and fresh and just ready for him. And they knew him and they knew to have it ready. And then he'd bring it back and he called me Nikki and he'd be like, Nikki, breakfast is gonna be ready. So then he would put the poppy seed bagel with the little breakfast concoction in it, like a sandwich, put aluminum foil. We'd go to downtown St. Louis, go to the pawn shop. It was called Stan's Pawn Shop. And I would go with him and help him and learn the trade and work with him and all that fun stuff. And my favorite part was the bagel sandwich. And to this day, Eric knows, uh, there's different supermarkets around us. There's only one of them that has poppy seed bagels. So Eric literally goes to a specific 
place because the only bagels I'll eat are the poppy seed ones. Also, it's the reason why I got this tattoo. Uh, whenever we were kids, um, we all got like, when we graduated high school, we all got a necklace and it had the Star of David in it and diamonds with our initial. I lost mine or it was taken, I don't know. So I decided to get a permanent tattoo version of the necklace he gave me with the Star Dave in the middle. And then the words is kind of, I just, instead of getting like a chain, I decided to get my favorite quote. And that's a symbol of the chain. And it says, always pass failure on the way to success. Meaning no matter how many times you fail, uh, you will be successful because you will learn from that failure. All right, y'all. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. So we have a little card. It says, just because I love you, finesse at Disney Nessie, PS. I know I can't rap well, and now you know it too. LMAO. That's fine. I feel like there's two people in this world. People who can rap good, people who cannot. All right, ooh, Eric will like this. So the first thing in here is cheddar cheese popcorn. Eric will tear that up. Oh, the next one, it says two shrimp. Shrimp is actually um, laying down to my left as we do this. My gosh. So she got him the cutest little toy and it has a freaking COVID mask on. Oh. Next thing. Oh, Eric's gonna love these. Um, caramel corn popcorn. Eric is totally gonna be upset. Oh my goodness. Sweet and salty, more. What? That re oh. That reminds me of those really big tins back in the day and they had the different flavors on each side. These are my jam. I'm not a huge sweet person, but I'm a real salty person. Don't come for me in the comments. But she got me a hot fries. Love hot everything. Oh, oh, this is actually, I think, Eric's favorite. Um, zebra popcorn, which is like caramel corn with chocolate flavored stripes. I, Eric loves that. We get that a lot for him. Ooh, Eric's gonna love this too. Um, this is chocolate covered pecans. Oh, this is mine. I can already like, it's, I feel like the sweet stuff is totally like Eric and this kind of, and the hot stuff and stuff is like me. So pistachios, but the sweet chili, that is my weakness. You have no idea. And cashews, jalapeno cashews, hot and cashews. I will tear that up. Holy Jesus, Joseph, Mary, Mother of God, Moses. Okay, I have never seen this. This must be like Costco size. This is insane. Like what the heck? This is the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. More jalapeno cashews. My goodness. <gasps> oh, this is Eric. Oh my Costco. Eric loves almonds, especially like seasoned um, flavored ones. What the heck? He is, and it's Blue Diamond too. Eric. Can you come here really quick? He is gonna be obsessed with this. You're on camera, but look what she just, one of the things she got you. Ooh, 
looks fun. Isn't that insane? Here, while you're there, right there, we open this really quick. It says two Eric on it. Tell Vanessa hi, by the way. Hi. You can't see your head. <laughs> I'll just back up into your gym shoes. You're gonna love those almonds. I've never even seen those. Me neither. And they're blue diamond too. Save some cleanup. As I already have the whole room trashed. Oh, it's a pipe. Wait, no, just kidding. What? It's Baby Yoda's head. What? Is there something else? That's awesome. Oh, is it like a mug? It's a mug. Oh, because you- hot chocolate inside of it. Because you just finished the second season of Mandalorian. I'm caught up, it's not over yet. Oh, you're Thank caught you. up. Thank you, this is awesome. Bye. Bye. Eric's working. Hold on, give me this. As he takes the almonds. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't seen Mandalorian yet. Eric loves it. Um, he's, I guess, caught up on the second season. I think I'm gonna start watching it once it's kind of all cut up. Um, I'm one of the people that whenever I do watch it, I wanna be able to watch them like in full. I don't wanna watch it and then get invested and then like, oh, I have to wait a week or something. So I'll get caught up. But Eric loves it, but no. Mandalorian, chocolate, almonds. He is, he went back to work. He works in the at the breakfast nook in the kitchen because, you know, quarantine and all that stuff. So he's about to tear those almonds up. So thank you. To Nicholas, ooh, and she put jasmine paper on it. <gasps> oh. What? Oh my. I didn't expect, oh my. I need a new wallet. Well, I don't need one, I guess. I want one. I have a Puma one. This is so amazing. So she got me, it's Loungefly from Up, and like a miniature My Adventure book. I love the detail on the side. And it's a wallet, standard wallet, and the inside has like Carl, Russell, Doug, the inside looks like that. This is adorable, says Disney Loungefly. Oh my goodness. I'm trading that with my Puma, like ASAP. This one is for grits. She got something for me, shrimp, grits, and Erica. I just said Erica. And it has like the little mask and this, oh my gosh, stop it. Shrimp and grits are gonna have a blast. Is there anything else in here? Okay, so there's more pistachios and this. And she has sent me magic mail before, so I am hyper aware that this is going to be alcohol. So she got butterscotch, and she got watermelon. So I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna drink it, drink it, because I think it's like noon right now. <sighs> that was a lot. Oh God. 50%. I don't really know much about percentages, but I think that's high. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna end the video. Um, happy almost Hanukkah to y'all. Thank you, Vanessa, uh, you are a real one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, sorry for... <laughs> Bye y'all.